Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. We're continuing our video series on interesting issues in family law, so please subscribe to our channel. A lot of times we'll get questions about things that after the fact look bad. At the time, maybe they didn't, but then they look bad and people are trying to resolve it now. Here's one question. My ex withdrew money from 401k in cash about a year ago. And that was a year before we decided to file. Is there anything I can do about it now? So at the time when it was withdrawn, maybe they knew about it, maybe they didn't, but now it's a year into it. Is there something that the court will do? More specifically, what the question really asks is will the court look at that and say, you know what? Half that money of that was yours, but half that money was his. And you withdrew it, you owe him that half. And really what it boils down to is, is the court persuaded that the money was taken out and spent in anticipation and with full knowledge that there would be a divorce in the offing and therefore we're trying to bankrupt the marital estate. If the court believes that the person did this, knowing full well that there was a divorce coming so they wanted to cash it out so they didn't have to split it, the court will likely re reconcile that and there will be a reckoning and you're going to be responsible for disgorging some of that money paid it back in. But if the court says, look, there's no proof one way or another, or there's no compelling evidence to support the notion that this was done on purpose. This is money taken out for a vacation or for a home improvement, whatever it is. And you know what? It was a year ago, and then the it doesn't work out. The parties file for divorce. You can well expect in that scenario the court may find there's just no sufficient evidence for the court to find that it should go back a year on that. And therefore, the court is only looking at the marital assets as they exist during the divorce. Uh, if you have any questions about that, reach out, and we'll be glad to help you out.